champion, campeon, have you over there been struggling with porn and a sexual addiction? If so, stay tuned. I've got a super day today to all of you talented, gifted, and potential full campeones, champions out there. My name is William George Moises, and welcome to King in Me. Not killing me, man. Hey, not killing me. King in Me. All right, King in Me. Have a look right there. Where is it? Right there. King, not killing me. King, score. All right, King in Me. All right, but nonetheless, um, welcome. It's hashtag. Winning Wednesdays featuring my boy, yeah. yes. champion, campeon, Andy Ford. Bro, William. Good to see you, man. Good, Good to, to have see you here, bro. bro. Yes, bro. I know that what you're going to share right now, a bit yeah. about your story, is going to yeah. inspire, yeah. motivate, challenge, and empower yeah. some young champion yeah. out there. Not so definitely. please, bro, it's all yours. I hand it over to you. Okay. All right. Thanks a lot, bro, William. You know, a testimony is quite a very important thing. You know, as we read in Revelation, that you know for they were defeated you know by the blood of the lamb and also by the word of their testimony yeah, so on. i believe with my testimony you know i'm going to inspire someone you know out there so with me i actually received you know the call of god you know at the age of 13 and god actually told me you know that i'm gonna be actually a, a crusade evangelist i'm gonna just travel the world you know just winning millions of souls you know unto the lord so but by the time now when i got into varsity i guess things actually changed I got now into a position where I started to be involved now, you know, with multiple women in varsity, just white right chair in Hatfield. You know, I did quite some very horrible stuff. You know, I was sleeping around like crazy. And at that time, I was actually even a youth leader, you know, at a church. And I mean, you know, I was struggling a lot. I was battling a lot. I was bound a lot. You know, I was addicted to sex. And I mean, this is something I couldn't talk to anyone because like everyone at church, you know, they looked up to me. You know, even my pastor actually respected to me. And it is because of the hand that he has actually seen, you know, of God upon my life. But at the same time, you know, there was stuff which I was doing on the side, which no one knew about. Not only that, but I got into a point where also I became addicted to porn. And I mean, this is something that I was struggling and I actually got into to a position where I felt like, man, you know what, I am dying. I couldn't connect to God, you know, anymore. Even during your services, man, I couldn't minister, man. I could feel, man, the coldness inside of me. Sure. And somehow, you know, I was struggling, feel with all this kind of condemnation, you know, but it actually got to a point where now I started to actually mess up within the church that I was actually involved in. You know, I messed up with girls, you know, within the youth ministry and so the pastor actually found out about this and it got to a point where now i was thrown you know out of the church because of what i have done and i can tell you you know what this is something that actually broke me because by that time i was bound I did not love what I was doing, you know. I was praying every time to God that God, you know, can you please help me? But somehow tomorrow I will see myself in the same position. And, you know, at one time when I was reading the Bible, God began to refer to me to a scripture in the book of Romans where Paul says that every time I want to do what is right, I inevitably see myself doing what is wrong. And that is exactly what was happening, you know, to me. I was praying to God that God, can you please help me? I am bound. I know that you have called me. Can you please help me to get out of this kind? you know of bondage that I am in and so one time when I was praying you know late at night and seeking the face of God and so now when I was sleeping at night you know I began to see a dream and on the dream that I saw it's like I was playing soccer you know on the ground and somehow a cloud began to come when that cloud came it began to lift me and as the cloud lifted me somehow you know I felt a strong presence of God within sure. the cloud not only that but I felt the love of God and you know what is the shocking thing William mm. with the love that I felt man it did not judge me Sure. But instead, it was a strong love, you know, upon my life. And within that, I've heard the voice of God. The voice of God said, and my calling hasn't changed. My love upon you hasn't changed. I have still called you. I can tell you that thing began to make me to cry. I cried so much and I said, God, but why me? Why me? I don't deserve this, God. Why me? This is not possible. You know, and I can tell you that since that day, 
my life began to change. And right now I just want to encourage someone there. I know with young people, these are kind of things that we're struggling about. You know, you are in church, you are in a worship team, and some of you are ministers, but somehow you are addicted to porn, you are addicted, you know, to sexual immorality. You don't know how you can get out. But all I can tell you is that God is there. The calling of God doesn't change upon yeah. your life. People Come can on, reject you, but God will never reject you. The only thing that you need it is just the love of Jesus. Once the love of Jesus touches you, I can tell you your life will change. Right now, I have changed. You know, I've started an evangelistic ministry. And I mean, we do crusades now across the globe. And this is the testimony I share to young people. And so, you know what? I have seen God so much with them. Come on, bro. You, bro. There we go. There we go. Thank I you. remember Bishop T.D. Jakes the yeah. one time mentioned that you cannot conquer what you don't confess. Exactly. And if you just line that up with the word of God, God says that he exalts those yes. who humble themselves definitely so acknowledge yeah. that if you have a problem you know yeah. we're living in a society where everybody puts on this mask you yeah. know no one lo, lo, not a lot of people actually post about their losses yeah. on yeah. social media yeah but i want to encourage you today that if you feel like you are losing in mm. maybe particularly in that yeah. sexual immorality that yeah. pornography yeah. sex addiction whatever it is yeah like man go to god mm. he knows everything all right, speak to me. He's your loving father mm -hmm. and he'll never leave you and he'll never forsake you. Amen. So champ, thank you so much for yeah, coming through you. today. Thank you. And bro. just know you watching over there, just yes. know today yeah. that your life matters. Amen.